Hey, what's up guys, John here. Unemployment data came back today claiming 303,000 jobs were added and the American economy is booming. In fact, we are now at the lowest unemployment rate that we've seen since 1970. The labor market is not falling down. March employment report, and it looks pretty good. 303,000 jobs were added to the workforce in March. The unemployment rate at 3.8% ticked down a little bit, and it's near a 50-year low. This is what they are now claiming. In 54 years, this is the best economy we've ever had. Is this true? Is this really what's happening? Because Jeffrey Gunlack, a multi-billionaire, said that the numbers are rigged. That's what he is saying. In over 80 states of America, 80% of all the states in America, he claims the numbers are skyrocketing, yet the data is quite the opposite, the data in which they provide to us. Our national unemployment data, 88% of the states are reporting rising unemployment over the last six months. And I'm having a very hard time squaring this circle. Who's lying? What's really going on? Well, look at this. It's pretty shocking. So just the balance.com, this is the unemployment data from 1970. So looking all the way down the last 54 years, not one number in the 4% range. And then out of nowhere, you start seeing one, two in the 4% range. It's very rare, right? Another one, another one, but nothing sub 3.9%. Only one is at 3.9%, but nothing sub 3.9%. And so when you see this, what are we walking into, right? What are we walking into? 17 trillion in outstanding consumer debt. You have a situation where all the billionaires, the institutional investors, they're selling off, yet gold is skyrocketing. Gold usually skyrockets in times of crisis. That's when gold skyrockets, in times of real problems. And for gold to be picking up every single day, as it's been lately, it makes me wonder, are we really in this massive bull run or are we walking into a real big problem? I personally, and betting on a very big problem. And I bet that we're gonna see a lot of really great investing opportunities ahead. And in fact, I think we're gonna see gold and silver. We're gonna see a lot of you know, these safety assets start to really flourish over the next couple of years. As we see the Fed, you know, we start to see you know, them just turn the money printer back on to print our way out of this situation. I, I bet we're gonna walk into a lot of inflation. I think we're gonna walk into a lot of problems. Uh, get prepared for them. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna show you the facts and show you exactly what's going on because to me, the numbers in which they provide doesn't make any sense. Does not make any sense. There's layoffs across the board right now, whether it's teachers, fast food workers, even healthcare, trucking and logistics, tech workers. Every single industry right now is issuing layoffs at a rate in which we've never before seen. Never before seen at this rate. Yet the data is coming back saying, you know what, everything is great. Everything is great. Is it? I'm going to break it down. I'll give you the facts. Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. YouTube will share the content. Educate more people about what's really going on in the U.S. economy. Today's video is sponsored by Genesis Gold Group. If you're interested in learning about precious metals such as gold and silver, you know, they'd love to you know, give you a free consultation. I'm betting big that gold is going to do really, really well the next couple of years, especially with BRICS nations. And uh, I believe we're going to see a situation where America is going to continue to lose authority in the global world order over the next couple of years. I think we're going to see some big problems here. And I think we're gonna see a lot of opportunity for precious metals. So if you have a 401k or IRA, you're interested in learning about potentially converting it into a retirement account backed by precious metals like gold and silver, or maybe you're thinking about making a small investment or medium-sized investment, or large investment into precious metals like gold and silver, call 1-800-200-GOLD or click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call to learn more. Take a look at this. So it's pretty shocking. All of this data, all of this data, you start to see this, for example, Billionaire Bond King questions unemployment data hard to believe. And what he says, what he says is that amid a seemingly growing list of major company layoffs in 2024, one billionaire bond fund manager is raising questions over some data. Amazingly, 88% of the states, and I think they have DC in there. So there's 51 of them, 88% of them are reporting rising unemployment over the last six months, and I'm having a very hard time squaring this circle. If 88% of the states are reporting rising unemployment, how can it be that national unemployment remains stable at a very, very low level, right? I agree, it doesn't really make much sense to me. It doesn't make much sense. When you have gold ripping like this and silver, you know, making big strides, it's because I think everybody is doubting everything that they're told right now. And they're, you know, they're really, questioning everything.
before, you know, people would question certain things at a small capacity. Now it feels like 60, 70% of the population is questioning everything that they hear, everything that they see. They're questioning banks, they're questioning everything. I mean, because it just, look at it, like, look at this. Michigan, schools may have to lay off 5,100 teachers. Mass layoffs hit schools in multiple states. Reasons behind teacher layoffs in California have been building for decades, right? They're really getting ready for what I believe is gonna be a complete overhaul of the educational system here in America. The same thing's happening to uh, tech workers. Uh, Apple's laying off more than 600 workers in California just three hours ago. You have Amazon, you have all these di different tech companies uh, issuing these layoffs in just the last day, the last two days, issuing these layoffs, right? 800 jobs. Look, it's, we've never seen this before, five hours ago, three hours ago, nine hours ago. I mean, this is the best economy. This is the amazing U.S. economy that, you know, we're being told about. You know, even the situation in healthcare, same scenario, massive layoffs all across the board. One day ago, one day ago, six days ago, 20 hours ago. As job market tightens, education and healthcare may present an opportunity, right? These companies are cutting jobs in 2024, overhiring blame for layoffs, right? So when you see this, going to, you know, even fast food workers are getting axed inside of California with the new $20 minimum wage. We're walking into a scenario where we're gonna see these layoffs continue to ramp up. Trucking logistics ramp up over 2024 and 2025. Now, they say that the safe haven jobs are going to be healthcare, accommodations, food services, and retail. All these industries right now are getting absolutely, absolutely ravaged by what's going on. Meanwhile, they're telling Main Street that everything is great, but Wall Street is liquidating. Look at this. The great cash out. You have Jeff Bezos, Leon Black, Jamie Dimon, and the Walton family have now sold a combined $11 billion in stock this month. Some of the for the first time ever, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg sold 1.2 billion over the past four months. Now, why would all the smartest and powerful people in the room be selling at a moment when everything is great, when the economy is gonna to continue to boom? It wouldn't make much sense, unless they thought that things weren't great. I would bet that they probably have access to more uh, crucial data. I mean, they're, they're monitoring billions of people. Amazon, you know, Facebook, Instagram, they're watching everybody's spending history, they're watching how much advertisers are advertising. They have so much data and information, and based on the data and information they have, they're making calculated bets to exit some of these stocks. Because these billionaires, they have a variety of options. If they wanted to get access to 5 billion, 10 billion, 20 billion, 50 billion in cash, they could easily, easily, someone like Mark Zuckerberg, easily get a loan out against his stock for a very, very low interest rate and the only issue would be is if the stock market crashed and he got margin called, he'd have to fire sale a lot of stock at a very, very discounted price when he could sell them today at a very high and overvalued price, right? So when you're seeing all the smart people, Buffett even selling 28 billion in stock, you know, a couple months ago, right? You're seeing all these people sell stock and then you see this rug pull that's kind of being set up right now. Jerome Powell saying that he needs more inflation evidence before cutting interest rates. He's not gonna be cutting interest rates. Gold hits new record high as Fed Chair Jerome Powell says stays the course for interest rates. Now, when he's, you know what he said? He said he's only gonna cut interest rates when unemployment starts to rise and inflation starts to get under control. Well, that's not happening right now, at least based on the data in which we're provided. What is happening is the complete opposite. So I believe he's gonna stay the course, potentially even increase interest rates 25 basis points, putting more pressure on companies and American consumers, which is saying a lot because American consumers right now, 29.6% of residents in the nation's 100 largest metros were behind on at least one debt payment during the third quarter of last year, right? So one in three Americans in the top 100 cities are behind on bills, but yet we have the best economy ever. You look at you know credit card delinquency rates right here. I mean, look at these numbers. 25% of people in Texas are behind on a bill. In Louisiana, 32%, 39%, 31%, 23%. There's not one state here sub 10%, not even one sub 15%. Uh, no, one right here, 13%. Everything else is, you know, 20, 25%. That's what we're looking at for the strongest economy ever. Now, when you have home inf you have home foreclosures skyrocketing, you have all these changes that are unfolding, what's likely gonna happen next? I believe that the American consumer is gonna get pushed off a cliff. I believe that we're gonna see the money printer turn back on this year. Inflation is gonna continue to likely get a lot worse. And we're gonna see a lot of change because as inflation gets worse, 
What happens to American consumers that have fixed debt obligations and adjustable debt obligations like credit card balances, which are adjustable rate, you know, student loans, you, know, if you have auto loans, you have all these debts, people are going to have a really hard time paying back. And I think we're going to see defaults continue to skyrocket, inflation get worse. And I think I really do believe gold and silver are going to do really, really well in the next couple of years, especially with BRICS nations and countries de-dollarizing. They're going to start to go into safety assets like that. Uh, I, maybe even you know other assets as well. I believe land is going to do really, really well. I think we're going to start to see a lot of people taking safer bets, no longer the bets on you know these meme coins and things like that. I think we're going to start to see a lot of really smart money taking safe bets over the next year or two as we walk into really, really turbulent times. So what do you think about this entire situation? Drop below. Let's have a conversation about this. And if you'd like to learn more about investing in gold and silver or potentially converting a you know, 401k or IRA into a retirement account backed by precious metals like gold and silver, or at least learning about precious metals, you can call 1-800-200-GOLD or click the link in the description just below this video. And I'll catch you next video.